Let's do it. Six thousand miles behind, I left you. Six thousand miles feel so alone. Six thousand miles have to travel. Six thousand miles to get back home. I'd have to sail oceans boundless. I'd have to cross endless skies. Some nights I do dream. I can grow it and I can fly six thousand miles back home to you. Oh, 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 oh. I traded you for some great adventure. Step out into a world unknown Far away lands Did I wander There's deserts and mountains I now roam oh, oh, But I just can't let go of your golden shores And I still crave your salty dare And if I was standing on the edge Of heaven on earth tonight Couldn't care about anything less. Six thousand miles. Oh, oh, oh. us apart and not even six thousand more Thank you very much indeed. That was two-thirds of the waifs, Vicky Thorne, who was singing and playing guitar, and Josh Cunningham, who was playing guitar. And that's a real waif song, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's... <laughs> Here we go again. I'm away from home. <laughs> Australia is calling me. It is. <laughs> that really has been. A, you could do almost an album of homesick songs. Oh, totally. A double album. Double album. <laughs> <laughs> You live in Utah, which is 6,000 miles from anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, but does that really affect your songwriting, you think, being there? Absolutely. I've never written as many songs since I've been and as many songs about being away from home. You know, I live in a very isolated part of Utah and at the end of the road. And in wintertime, it's, there's nothing going on. It's absolutely silent. I sort of glaze over and I start thinking about the beach and the salmon season in February and I just write songs. <laughs> February is my, my time for writing songs and they usually, you know, have this yearning, melancholy sense to them. Do you miss different things as time goes by? 
the culture, you know, what you the see as your people. The little thing that I miss is how people swear all the time here. <laughs> you know, in an, in a very endearing, engaging and way. That's actually, you know, that's actually forbidden in Utah, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you don't hear it a lot. You know, it's not mm. part of the, the vernacular to just sort of, you know, drop an F-bomb everywhere like it is in Australia. And sometimes I have friends sort of call me up and, you know, they'll, you know. <laughs> abuse me in a really friendly, endearing way. And I think, oh, that's so nice to hear, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's ages since I was called an old bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>